Amazon warehouse workers in New York made history last Friday, voting to unionize its Staten Island facility. It's the first successful U.S. organizing effort in the retail giant's 27-year history. Amazon labor union president Christian Smalls is here to tell us more about it. Christian, thanks for being here. I want to start from the beginning. What prompted the formation of this union to begin with? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, my, my journey started two years ago when I was terminated from the company. You know, after I was terminated, you know, they had a meeting about me, Jeff Bezos and his general counsel calling me not smart or articulate. And ironically, they also said to make me the face of the whole unionizing efforts. So from that moment, you know, I traveled the country protesting and advocating for workers' rights up until about 11 months ago when we founded the Amazon Labor Union, the ALU, in Staten Island. Uh, we founded this uh, this union because we went down to Alabama last year. We saw some opportunities that uh, we thought that we can do better up here. And we uh, we formed this new worker-led independent union. And it's been uh, working for us up here in Staten Island. And uh, here we are. Uh, as of April 1st, we became the first union to, uh, for Amazon in the country. Now, the Amazon Labor Union is made up of both current and former Staten Island employees. How did you garner that support? Well, you know, uh, that was my former facility. You know, I opened up that facility in 2018. I was a supervisor with Amazon for almost four and a half years. So um, I felt it was necessary to go back home, pretty much. Um, the workers know who I am. They've seen who I was in uh, the media as far as protesting. Um, and the organizers that I organized with, um, they're current employees. You know, they all work there. They know the ins and outs of the company. They know the grievances. We live the reality of the warehouse lifestyle. And we felt that this was the best way to go to try to unionize Amazon. And uh, it absolutely worked for us. You know, workers resonated with us. And we built their, you know, we built relationships, earned their trust. And over time, um, you know, we were able to sign up over 4,000 workers. And Christian, warehouse workers voted 55 to 45 in favor of the union. What was your reaction to those results? Honestly, I wish it was a lot higher. But um, unfortunately, Amazon spends millions of dollars uh, uh, union busting. They put these workers into captive audiences 24-7. You know, workers go to these trainings where they're, they're fed and drilled anti-union propaganda all day and all night. So we expected a lot of misinformation to be out there um, as far as uh, when the vote came. And we expected workers to, you know, just have to make their own conscious decision. And, um, you know, we were fortunate enough to have enough to win. But um, I think it would be a lot higher had Amazon not been able to spend millions of dollars trying to stop this campaign. Now, Amazon released a statement saying in part, quote, we're disappointed with the outcome of the election in Staten Island because we believe having a direct relationship with the company is best for our employees. What's your reaction to that? Well, you know, um, I know Amazon's going to say something like that, but uh, unfortunately, um, that's not the case. You know, Amazon workers had the right, the fair right to vote, whichever favor they chose, and the workers spoke for themselves. So the, to be disappointed that their own workers voting yes is, is just utterly uh, ridiculous if you ask me and um you know the workers said that they want a union and they voted in that favor and that they should just uh acknowledge that and accept that and recognize the union um in staten island uh, but the company indicated that it will explore options to challenge this vote what could that look like i don't i don't believe the board would entertain that you know how does how does uh the, the board that actually ran the election interfered with the election. That's just ridiculous. I I was uh, able to also sitting, and we had observers on both sides. I seen that the election was ran ran fairly and consistently. Um, there was no issues really on our end, and I don't see how a trillion dollar company would have any type of disputes. You know, the the election was held in person. The voters voted in person. It was live, counting on as far as the ballots. And um, the, the workers voted up um, in favor of the, the union. So here we are. All right, Amazon Labor Union President Christian Smalls, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.